So I've been making a lot of these little stuffed owl plush toys since about February with the intention to sell them at my merch table on tour. When I've made these in the past, people have really liked them, but I've run out of them really fast, so I figured if I started several months ahead of time, it's more possible that I'll make enough for everybody who wants one. I like them, they're really cute and fun to make, they just take a long time. I basically just come up here to my craft room, shut the door, and then I just put on some music or Netflix, and then I just work for 8 or 12 hours, as many days of the week as I can. But a few days ago I was sitting over here at my sewing machine working on some owls and the needle instead of coming back up just kind of hit metal. So then I started searching frantically on Google trying to figure out what is wrong with my sewing machine, why is it doing this, and um, I guess I kind of determined that the timing was off. Unless I have knowledge of taking apart sewing machines and resetting the timing, I needed to take it to a professional. And the sewing machine came with a list of all these repair centers that I should call, and uh, only one of them is in Rhode Island, and I called and the number was disconnected. And I always drive past this little locally owned place called Marion Sewn Vac in uh, Bellingham, Massachusetts. I'd never gone in before, but I knew that they sold sewing machines, so I called them up, asked if they repair sewing machines, and they do. So the next day, I brought in my machine, told them what happened. The woman who owns the place pretty much verified, yeah, your machine is out of time, and um, it turns out that the repair cost is basically as much as I spent on this whole machine. And when I first bought this, I had no knowledge of sewing machines. I had hand sewn a little bit, um, but I wanted to be able to make things quickly so that I could sell them on tour and start an Etsy shop, and so I bought this, and it was pretty cheap, but I didn't feel like it would be worth it to double the cost of this, uh, have it repaired, and then possibly have that happen again. I learned to sew on this machine, and the only reason why I bought a low-end machine and didn't spend very much money on it is because all I really needed it to do was sew in straight lines, forwards, and backwards, and that's it. And that's gotten me all the way here. But even though it does all the things I need it to, it's not quite as durable and I definitely sew way too much um, for this little machine. So my best option was to upgrade and buy a nicer sewing machine. I put some little owl stickers on it and I, I really loved this machine, but unfortunately it doesn't work anymore. So the owner of the shop uh, showed me a few different models and I ended up going with this brother model. This thing is seriously like a little robot. It's pink, it's electronic. You don't even have to use the foot pedal. If you unplug the foot pedal and you just hit these buttons, it just goes by itself. Oh, it's also so much more quiet than my last machine was. When I started using this thing and I was tweeting about how excited I was about it, my husband tweeted back at me from downstairs that it no longer sounded like I was jackhammering the living room ceiling. <laughs> the best thing about buying this from a locally owned sewing machine store is the kind of personal attention and expertise that I received. The woman who sold it to me sat me down at a bunch of different machines. I was pretty much squeeing and commenting on all the cool things that this can do that I didn't even know sewing machines could do in the first place. She even offered me free sewing classes and told me that anytime I wanted to figure out how to do something with this machine, she could teach me how to do it. When I bought my last sewing machine at unnamed big box chain store, nobody even asked if I needed help and it took me a really long time to even find the sewing machines in the store. Big difference. <laughs> Definitely, definitely support small businesses if you can. I get so excited whenever I find a place like this that I can support and that I can learn things from. I am a little bit bummed that I can't use my old sewing machine anymore, but this new machine is going to take me into the future. So unfortunately, I was not counting on making a major purchase like this right now. So I decided to have a short online sale before I leave for tour next month in order to help cover the costs of this new sewing machine. A lot of people have been very nicely asking me to sell these owls online. Teeny little owl faces! So for 48 hours, starting at midnight on my 24th birthday, which is Friday, June 1st, I'm going to be selling a limited amount of the owl plushies on laurenfairweather.storeenvy.com in addition to the rest of my merchandise. For those of you who can't come to a show or who are worried that I'll sell out before I get to your city on tour. That weekend will also be the last time that you can buy my t-shirts and buttons online before I leave for tour and it's very possible that I'll sell out while I'm on the road and I don't know if I'll be reordering the t-shirts so between now and then would be a good time to check those out. For updates on the sale, follow me on Twitter at Lauren Myrtle and if you want to hear more about my sewing machines and my craft projects, check out my craft blog at fairweatherfriendsblog.com. Happy Mother's Day and I'll see you soon!